first time in 45 days plus that we are able to go flying. Uh, the uh, California fires were pretty terrible this year. The visibility is today is okay. We can actually fly a little bit. We're just trying to find the places they would like to go and see if they got burned out. So one of them here, I'm trying to locate, having a hard time finding it because the visibility is so terrible. And oh, I found it. Jeff is already there, and then Nigel is flying with us too. But boy, there's so much fire everywhere. And this place got burned a couple of years ago, and it was just getting back to normal where the vegetation was growing back green again, but... Oh yeah, it looks like it got burned. By the way, it looks good though. Actually, we can go on. They're already there, so we can... We can land. Terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up. 500, pull up. Some fire truck tracks looks like. It looks like uh, Hammond's is okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, all those trees are all burned. Yeah, um, but those are, I mean, there was a lot of damage from last, from yeah. a couple of years ago, right? There's less trees here now, isn't there? Oh, that's true. And that, when yeah. I was flying in, it really looked uphill. I mean... Oh, yeah, that, that trees. is all burned. Yeah. That's all burned for sure. But there used to be a, like a river station at the top there, that's gone. Oh, right. Just glad no one was here filming. Check out this way. It's all burn over there, everywhere, all the way. Wow. That's kind of sad, but we got a runway and it looks like the house is uh, in good shape. Did they? Did the house burn? Their house? No. No. Structure survived. Yeah. Oh, that's lucky. So Nigel got a new, a new plane. Savage Cup. That's a super nice airplane. Very very cool. Brand brand new. All new. That's pretty cool. You got some shocks going. Got air streaks going. It's a Rotax 912. And it's uh, it's big. Oh no. It's really big. Yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm happy this place is uh, still. Still intact. We're gonna we're gonna probably go check another place. 
uh, right on the other side of the lake yeah. that um, that's where the main fire was so that place might be completely charred down so we're gonna go check it out all right here I go Tell me when you want me to roll. Okay, and I'm gonna be on your left side. So uh, as soon as I, as by the end of the runaway, I'm gonna be already turning left, okay? Okay, sounds good. All right, go for it. Here we go. After that, I'll go straight until you tell me to turn. You see me? Oh, yeah. Right now. Right, of course. All right. Damn, I got your awake real bad. Did you? down there, Alex. Oh, it's super calm. It's perfect. It's like paradise. It's a perfect day for your first off lane like that. All right. And as you come close, I'll, uh, I'll guide you through it. Peter, brand new legend cub and uh, we're guiding him to land here on the first time he's off off field and should be real fun so we'll see how he does anywhere there is good don't worry about it <laughs> you know the crazy thing is the last time you were here yeah you were here with me on the kid fox and now you're here with your own airplane Th and your tail wheel pilot and you're flying here how cool is that that's cool that that's is cool. awesome look at this that's beautiful man that's that is awesome you know <laughs> that is so nice You get checklist and everything. Look at you. I'm, just, I'm still, I'm still, I, I know you can do it electronically, but I still haven't. Uh, 
That's awesome. I haven't done that. I, I, I'm old school paper. And you got the Shock Monster? Shock Monster. Finally got them. Tony, Tony, Tony be proud. Tony helped me out getting the uh, yeah. procedure done right. That's awesome, dude. Well, welcome to the back country. Hey, Jeff. Hey, man. How are you? Looking good, man. Yeah. It's so cool to see a uh, fellow pilot. So the little backstory between uh, Peter and I, so we we'll, we'll start flying. Uh, we were doing the training together uh, in a Cirrus in 2005, 2006. And uh, we got to fly the Cirrus for as long as I can remember, uh, 10, 12 years or so. And, and, um, and I got the Kid Fox and he came in on flight with me and it was a beautiful one of those like crisp beautiful days and we came here and he was like oh my god this is insane and within a, a month or so he ended up uh, he ended up buying the legend cub which is a beautiful airplane and with the covid and there was a lot of delays and all of that but there he is finally here his first uh, backcountry landing and hopefully we can uh, show him guide him and uh, educate him uh, like we did with uh, you know with Jeff and everybody on proper proper ways and places to go and looking forward to flying with him and everybody else here that we fly together so it's awesome we have an autopilot with us I'm on a left base, about to turn final for fiber optics. Alright, I'm behind you. Man, it looks so different. It does look a completely different place. Is that it, the uh, blackened area to the right of the road? Yeah, that's still on the road. Just flew by. That road is normally green, and that's normally the road that we land on, so that's crazy looking. 